transitioning to a new job can be tough. Bringing on a new team member into a business that you've built can also be extremely difficult. If you do not have a clear system and process for bringing people in, it could feel like you're just giving a shot in the dark. If you're looking to expand your team, you don't have to make it more complicated than it has to be. You wanna keep it simple and straightforward. Develop a process where you can bring people on and then you can always tweak it as you continue to expand your team. In this video, I'm gonna go through four tips on how to make the onboarding process super smooth in ClickUp from SOPs to task management, knowing where your team member can access everything that they need and more. And if it's your first time landing on our channel, hello, my name is Christy. I'm the CEO and founder of DeSilva Life and a verified ClickUp consultant. Teaching people how to utilize and maximize ClickUp is absolutely my jam. So I'm so excited that you're here and ready to learn about how to onboard your team with ClickUp. Let's dive in. I'm gonna go through four tips to really help you master team onboarding and ClickUp. Now here's the thing. Reality is ClickUp could be overwhelming for anyone diving in, especially a new team member coming into a already built up functioning business. So you want to make sure to ease that learning curve as much as possible that you're really setting your team member up for success. And in this video, I'm going to show you four quick ways you can do that for your team member. Now note the things that we're going to go through, these are available in our template vault. Some of them are individual templates in our shop. So if you want the quick an easy plug and play version. They're available to you, but I hope this video just helps bring light to the types of things you can create to not only make this process more seamless for your team member, but also for yourself as well. Okay. So first thing that is going to make your life and your team members life so much easier is creating an SOP library. What the heck is an SOP? It is a standard operating procedure, which is basically a fancy term for instructions. SOPs can be in the form of instructional videos, documents, written format inside tasks. So let's just take a quick look at this SOP library and how it's set up. You can see every SOP would be a task in ClickUp. You then have statuses to create, in progress, review, finalized. You could add needs edits, create tutorial, etc. You could totally make this your own. You could break it down into categories like admin, marketing, operations, etc. Now, this is how we started our SOP library because we probably had between 10 to 20 SOPs before we brought on team members. Now, since our team is growing, we've actually broken them up into different SOP lists for each category. So we don't have one list with hundreds of videos. Instead, it's really neatly organized in those lists. And then you could break it down even further in the individual lists. You also have these columns in ClickUp. These are not custom fields. They are columns that will show you when the date the SOP was created and then when it has been updated. So if I went in here and say I added a comment or anything in this task, updated the status, you're then gonna see this date updated is going to move to today. And there it is, 2.38 p.m. So you can have this SOP view and then see in the finalized, this is what an example of ours would be, is we love putting Loom videos in the tasks, giving any information, uploading attachments and putting everything in one task. And instead of just assigning this to a team member or duplicating it where it should be, we actually copy the link of the task and put it in a fresh task where this person is gonna take care of it. Reason being is if we ever have to update this SOP, it's then gonna be only living in one place and everywhere we update it, when we update it in SOP library, the updates will then be in the other tasks. So for example, say this task was the actual task for the team member, we'll just paste this link in here, we'll write SOP video and then paste it in there so then they could just click on it and it will be the up-to-date version. So that is SOP library. You can also see you can have SOP docs here listed on the side, written out. And having this available to your team members means that one, you're giving them very explicit instructions for things. 
Two, if they have questions, they can always reference the SOP library first to see if the answer is in there. And three, you're gonna reduce so many questions because everything will be here instead of you explaining something on a call and then them asking how you did it or clarification. They could watch that video as many times as they need. Okay, so tip number one, SOP library is gonna be a game changer for you. The next thing is having an onboarding process and template. This is another one of our templates. And you could see here, this is something that's great for your team member to go through, ideally in the first day or week that they're working at the company. You could have a management checklist that's like, okay, what are all the things that I have to do to onboard them, add them to Slack, schedule their onboarding call, send their contract. Because the thing is, why try and remember all these things when you can write them out and then next time just go through a quick checklist. You're gonna save so much time, energy, brain space, all the things. Then you can see these different things here of having about your company, introduction to ClickUp, expectations, communication. You are letting them know upfront everything that they need to get, and start, get started. From here's an intro to ClickUp to here's what I'm expecting for you in the first 90 days of working together. Then you can see you can just go in these. These could be assigned to them with due dates and it would have all of the information for them just to really get acquainted with you and the current team and company. So this is an example of a team onboarding process mapped up. Then I wanna show you something that is new that we are super stoked about that we are just adding to our template vault for our system school students is this new 30, 60, 90 day plan template. Now, yes, this is simple, but sometimes simple is so effective. And when we were onboarding our first full-time team members, we really wanted to make it explicitly clear what our expectations were of them, as well as us know what we're even and tracking if they're meeting our expectations. So we created this list that is broken down by first 30, 60, and 90 days. We created our expectations of those first 30, 60, 90 days with due dates to mark those markers. And then the statuses are not started in progress behind postponed or complete. This way, during their 30, 60, 90 day review calls, we could look at this list and say, okay, did you hit this target or this goal we had? Yes or no, and why or why not? So it's so helpful to just see this visually mapped out for your team member, for yourself as well. And then we also have it in this written doc too, to kind of break it down even further. So this was a game changer. Again, we're putting this in our template vault for our students and we're super stoked for them to test it out. And then finally, the fourth thing that will really set your team members up for success is having a team member dashboard. So if you come into dashboards, you, this is just a simple example. You can add whatever you want. You can add note blocks. You could add time tracking. You could add important information and links. Um, but here, at least having these few things, due today, overdue, due this week, and then their calendar is going to be a game changer for them. Because then they could just see what they immediately have to do. They could open up the task, take care of it, mark it as complete. And so setting this up, these are just a bunch of list widgets where the filters are the assignee is that team member, and the due date is today, overdue, this week, etc. And then you could tell them to bookmark this tab, and this is where they want to go every single day. Now, the calendar down here is actually a little hack that we have. If you go to our favorite ways to use ClickUp's calendar view video, you'll see how we actually created this calendar. And then to embed it on the dashboard, because ClickUp doesn't currently have a calendar widget, we actually used an embed block, and then and just embedded that URL in here. So that is our little hack for being able to have a calendar on a ClickUp dashboard. But that is really it. I just wanted to go through these four examples with you to clearly see how you can make the onboarding process more simple and seamless for you and your team member and really set them up for success as you're bringing them into your business and into your ClickUp workspace. 
So I hope that video was helpful for you and brought light to how you can utilize ClickUp's incredible features like dashboards, board view, you know, embedding videos to make your onboarding process so much smoother, not only for your team member, but also for yourself. But one more thing before I sign off, but I cannot wait to let you know that we are hosting a free live training this month called Scaling Your Online Business with ClickUp. I'm so excited to go through all the tips on how you can really maximize ClickUp for growth and efficiency to really grow and scale your business with ease. There are two different session dates, so make sure to check out the link and choose which one works best for you. You can also check out that page to get all of the details of what will be included in the session, and I hope to see you there. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for all the ClickUp tutorials and I'll see you next time.